99.9% solar energy industry experts will not tell you about this that the output efficiency of an operational solar power plant depends on the type and texture of that soil in that particular area. Yes, my friends, the data which I am going to share with you in this video will completely blow your mind. Quick technology question. Suppose you have two solar power plants, each 1 1 megawatt, built on same design, same azimuth, by the same company, designed by the same company. But the catch is, one of the solar power plant is installed next to a very busy road. Lot of traffic is there, means moving car is there, so obviously lot of soiling will be there, dust will be accumulating on the solar power plant. And the other solar power plant, which is again of the same technology, same capacity, same direction, is near to a thermal power plant, you know. So you have to tell me as per your knowledge and experience, I will give you just five seconds to think of an answer this that among both of these plants, which plant will give a higher output, a higher efficiency, a higher generation at the end of the month. Think of an answer and I'm giving you five seconds. Five, two, three, four, five. Time's up. Before I reveal the shocking result of this question, I want to tell you that there has been always a conflict between the installer, the maintenance team and the end client who is the owner of the plant that even after perfect and properly scheduled preventive maintenance and module cleaning, why is my solar power plant not able to match the PV assist value? Why it is underperforming? The data which I am going to share with you all in this video is highly confidential and it has been experimentally proved over a period of time that is the correlation of silicon cell efficiency with respect to the type and texture of soil falling over it. You know the very reliable PV cyst the simulation software which is used to simulate the performance output performance of the solar power plant for an annual performance doesn't have this feature to select the type and the texture of soil which is going to be present around that plant which affects the performance efficiency of that solar power plant so this is the point where exactly this very highly reliable software actually fails to predict the performance of the solar pv plant as a solar photovoltaic design engineer, you will consider 2%, 5% generation loss in the PV cyst just because of the soiling in that particular area is something which start creates confusion and conflict at the later stage because the software PV cyst doesn't have this data library or the function to even simulate the loss which can occur just because of the texture and the type of soil. Without wasting any further time, let me tell you about what exactly is the research all about and what were the findings. The performance efficiency loss of the polycrystalline silicon solar module due to industrial dust deposition was investigated in an experiment. Dust samples were collected from fertilizer, gypsum, aggregate crusher and coal mine industries. Then the outdoor experimental measurement of the polycrystalline module performance was done. The impact of dust deposition was determined by attaining operating parameters such as the IV curve and the PV characteristic curves of similar module exposed to some operating environments that is the solar radiation and the air or the ambient temperature. While one module was covered with the dust, the other was kept clean for output comparison. It was found that the efficiency loss of the solar cell was dependent on the type of dust accumulated over the panel surface. Maximum efficiency loss of the polycrystalline photovoltaic module was observed to be 64% for coal dust, 42% for aggregate, 30% for gypsum and 29% for the organic fertilizer dust. Hence. Coal dust was the most affecting dust sample among the four owing its highest absorptivity and hence lowest transmittivity. Also the study proved that the finer dust particle reduced more performance efficiency compared with the larger particles. It was found that the PV module performance derated with temperature rise because of the heat dissipation caused by the dust accumulation over the glass and its surrounding environment 
because we know that the ambient heat absorption by any material depends on the color and texture of the object or material. So among all the types of soil, the coal dust because of its dark texture absorbs more heat, hence dissipates more heat to the module body and hence derates its efficiency. So the correct answer is the performance efficiency of the solar plant near the coal plant slash thermal plant will be more affected just because of the type and texture of the soiling that is the coal dust. Okay, even I myself was not aware about this but unfortunately this is material science guys and it is completely true. Also I am giving away this research paper for free as a part of my data analytics course. So if you have already done the course just message me on LinkedIn and I will share you this document for free. But if you have missed this amazing, highly demanding skill development course, then don't worry, follow the next video. So if you're new to the solar industry and you don't know this, then you are losing your clients, your revenue and your plant performance. Having the knowledge of solar PV plant data analytics will allow you to find the root cause of underperformance during daily plant operation. Installing a solar plant is an incomplete success if it is not giving out proper output because if there is a reduction in the power production then your investment in the solar power plant is just slipping out of your hand. So if you are looking for a promising future in the solar energy sector but you haven't seen my YouTube channel then consider subscribing it as I am sharing my golden experience and tips and tricks to master this technology like a true professional. In this amazing course you will learn the skill to analyze the data with respect to the operational solar plant components to bypass any kind of underperformance and get the best out of it. This course is absolutely important for engineers, business owners, consultants who are already working or want to work in the solar energy photovoltaic sector. Trust me, without this highly demanding skill, your journey to success in this industry is incomplete.